If you're looking for a video, you land on a streaming website and the site says no sources found for this video. Well, that's a confusing error, right? My name is Yadullah, you're watching Cadero Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix this. So an error like no valid sources are available for this video often pops up when there is either something wrong with your browser or something wrong with the server. Now depending on which video provider you're watching your video from, there is practically nothing you can do about the server situation but we can try and diagnose the issue within our browser. So the first thing that we have to do uh, in cases like this is to of course fire up the browser and uh, try and clear out all of our data from it. Uh, ideally you would also restart your browser before that so uh, I guess that would be step number one it would be to just go ahead and restart the browser. So if you have an instance open close it now uh, head over to your start menu icon right click it and then go to task manager we'll wait for task manager to open up and uh, then whatever browser it is that you're using for uh, your uh, viewing make sure that any background processes related to that browser are not running so as you can see there are absolutely no edge processes here uh, I just have this Arc browser window running and that's not going to do much in terms of uh, what I'm trying to do. So uh, once you're done with that, come back to your browser and then head back to the video server that you were trying or whatever link you were trying to play the video from and then try playing it again. If that doesn't work, now we can actually get into clearing the data for our browser. So uh, this is a very simple thing to do. All you have to do is head over to uh, these three dots, scroll down to settings, let the settings load. And uh, also depending on which browser you're doing this on, the settings will change slightly uh, the location of the settings, but mostly you can follow this uh, procedure of steps and you'll be good to go. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on privacy search and services. And in here you will see this uh, delete browsing data section. Now uh, just click on this uh, clear browsing data now button. Uh, make sure that you've selected all time. Uh, you can leave the browsing history and download history unchecked, but cookies and uh, cached images and files have to go, unfortunately. So uh, select what you want, uh, select the time range. I would recommend going for all time and then just click on clear now. Give your browser some time, it will uh, delete all of this data and now when you load up whatever site that you're trying to watch your video from, it should fetch everything uh, as it was the first time, hopefully replacing any corrupt files that were causing this issue. Now another issue that can cause uh, this problem is of uh, extensions. So a lot of the times uh, faulty extensions can get in the way of websites doing things. To fix that, uh, if you're on edge, just click these three dots again, head over to the extensions menu and uh, or you can just open up this menu right here, click it again, click on manage extensions or you can just go ahead and type in this uh, edge colon slash slash extensions or chrome or whatever chromium browser you're using and now this will give you a list of all extensions installed and active on your browser. Disable all of these extensions uh, by just toggling these sliders and then turn them on one by one until you find the extension that's causing the problem and then hopefully not use that extension or you can find a way around it because that extension is causing problems with uh, the website that you're trying to watch the video on and that's why you can't access it and you're getting this error. Moving on. Uh, if this is a browser issue, there is also a good chance that uh, the developer of the browser has just released an update. While most browsers automatically update themselves, you can uh, look for manual updates as well. So what you have to do is head over to the three dots again, go back all the way to the settings. And then uh, in here, what we're going to do is once again, scroll all the way down to the about Microsoft Edge section and it'll automatically start looking for updates. Uh, as you can see, my installation is up to date. Make sure that Chrome, Edge, Arc, Brau uh, Brave, Firefox, whatever browser you're using is updated. 
it's on the latest build uh, so that you can rule out software issues uh, or bugs within the browser itself last but not least uh, what you can do is you can reset your browser completely to get rid of uh, anything and or any setting that might be causing this problem uh, to do that once again head over to the three dots scroll down to settings uh, and here we're going to go to reset settings this time uh, so you can't see this behind my camera yeah so you click on reset settings uh, and then you'll just see this one option that says restore settings to their default values click on it it will give you a warning telling you it will clear out all temporary data and your saved passwords will not be cleared which is a good thing so you can log in uh, very quickly click on reset uh, let the browser do its thing and then you will be good to go and uh, that's about it uh, if you follow through these steps there is a good chance that you can get your video back up and running again if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if there are any such content that we can make for you if you want to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video